Hey, this is Sharon from craftyandcreativeideas.blogspot.com and I'm here today with another Wow That's Cool video for you. And this one is going to be another version of the folded Christmas tree card um, using a little more Christmassy colors with the reds and the greens. And um, so we're going to get started here. What I did, um, this is the card that we're going to be making. And it's going to be having a matching liner to it. What you're going to do first is take Early Espresso, and you're going to take that, um, and you're going to cut it at four and a quarter by five and a half, and you're going to score it at four and a quarter. Okay. Then we're going to take a piece of cherry cobbler and we're going to cut that at four by five and a quarter. So four by five and a quarter. A piece of white, whisper white, and what I did with this is I took, if I could find my folder here, I took the Stampin' Up folder, the textured northern flurry which has a lot of little snowflakes on it. And I put the paper, the horizontal paper, into the folder this way. You can see what I did here. And then I just ran it through my Big Shot. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take, we're gonna start out first with the Christmas trees itself. So you can get those pieces ready and we're gonna put those on the side. You're going to take a circle out of the paper, I used the Season Style Designer Paper Stack, and um, I used also my Stampin' Up! Circle Framelits. Now those framelits, I used number 8, which is either, if you want to count, 8 in or um, 2 back from the from the large one, but anyways, it's going to be the eighth one here. Can't get these out of here. And you're going to cut out one circle. And after you've cut out that one circle with the number eight size, which is actually going to be a three and five eighths circle for any of you that do not have the Stampin' Up uh, circle framelits, you're going to um, mark this circle cut it in half and it's going to give you your two trees. You're going to mark the middle line which is 1 and 13 sixteenths of an inch on both of these. Now you whatever side you want on, on your tree, if, if you want the polka dots showing then you will have that side facing you when you make this card. If you want the other pattern to, to be a dominant on the, the left side of the card, then you would flip this over and use it this way. But I'm going to use it so it comes out the same uh, same way as I did with the other one. So we take this paper and we're going to, so we're going to fold it in up to the line. Crease it. Fold the top part back over. I do have another small video that I posted on just for the folding of this, but um, that's all that's on there. It doesn't have anything with the card. And then once again, you're going to fold this backwards and crease. So now you have both of your trees. Both of your trees are now all together. Okay, so we will take out our white, Whisper White that I had, and using a stamp from the Joyful Christmas stamp, I'm going to be using, let me zoom this back out because we don't need to be so close now. I'm going to be using the, joy, the Joyful Christmas, and I'm going to be using Joyful Christmas Wishes stamp from that set. 
I can get my stamp to stick. And I'm going to use Cherry Cobbler ink, but I'm not going to actually stamp this until I position where I'm going to want to place my trees. Just so that I can fit the stamp in there. Okay, so that's about where it's going to go. I just want to make sure the tree is going to be high enough. Okay. Okay, so now that I have my trees actually placed where I'm going to use them, I'm going to ink up my stamp with Cherry Cobbler. I got a little bit of ink on the edge of this stamp. Okay, so I'm going to ink this up with Cherry Cobbler and I'm going to go ahead and place the stamp where I want that. Okay. Then I'm going to take two pieces of Early Espresso that are one and one quarter inches long. And those are going to be my little trunks, uh, tree, tree trunks here. So now you want to actually place these and figure out where you're going to want this on your card. And I'm going to have mine about like so. Okay, so now you can go ahead, and mine's going to be right in the middle of that little snowflake. You can put a little of adhesive on there, adhere it there. And I actually popped my trees with dimensionals which just flew across the room when I cut it okay follow my dimensional sorry there's my other piece and then I'm gonna stick another one on here Okay, so now I'm going to place my first tree like so and then I'm going to place the second tree keeping in mind and I still have to fit this under it and where do I want it to go so that's going to be a good place for it like there and then take a little bit of tape on it again and place your second trunk like so okay now we're going to take put this aside for a second we are going to take the cherry cobbler, I put tape runner, and I'm going to adhere the front section of this to the cherry cobbler. And then I'm going to use dimensionals on the back. And I actually used five of them because I put one in the center also. And then adhere that to the front of the base of the card. So it's popped. Now I took the Stampin' Up Basic Jewels and I used the three millimeter on the lower part of the card so I look, used two down here and then I took the five millimeter and I put one each Oops. 
on the top of the trees. Those little things just shoot out so easily. There. Okay, and there's your card. Now for the envelope. I used an 8 by 8 piece of paper and I actually um, used this with a three and a half mark on the punch board. And then I punched and scored. So score and punch. Turn it, line it up with your score mark. Score and punch. Line it up with your score mark. Score, oops, score and punch. Once again, we'll turn it around and score and punch. And then you're going to take the top end. And make sure that you're using the wider end because there's two narrow ends here on the side, but make sure you use like your top end and you're going to round that off. That's much better. Okay, so now we're going to put this aside for a second. We're going to take our liner. The liner is cut four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And on the liner we're just going to punch at four on the four and an eighth mark on the board. Four and an eighth over. And you're going to do one punch. Then you're going to take this paper, flip it over so that um, these become on an angle. And once again you're going to go four and an eighth, do a fast punch. Okay, and that's it. So let me get this out of our way. Now you want to look at your envelope Well, actually we need this one more second because we're going to have to round off an edge in a second. You want to look at your envelope and figure out which side is going to be the right side to punch on here because you want to line this up, which is this is the perfect side. Let me zoom this in for you a little bit. So you want to line this up so both of these angles meet. So if I had this turned the other way, it's not going to work because this is going to be upside down. So make sure that this is the direction. So now this will be, then you'll know, let me get this back out to normal here. So now this will be the, the por par portion of the card that you're going to round off. Okay, front half of it. You don't need the other end of it. You're going to take that, fit it on, onto your envelope, and then this will all fold in. And once again, I take a little bit of glue on the inner folds of the sides of my envelope. You don't need a lot, or it's just going to mush out on you. And then you have your final card. Okay, and your envelope. All of the supplies and that you would need for this are on my blog at craftyandcreativeideas.blogspot.com. And if you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to email me. Check out the blog and check out other videos on there too. Thank you for watching.